Even though inmates at the prison have some of their freedoms curtailed, their dreams of traveling to other countries remain. Grace Hamuasari reports that inmates have found innovative ways of living in their dream countries by naming each of their 12 dormitories after a foreign country. Up, most young people had dreams of traveling to a foreign country for one reason or the other. Many factors could, however, account for the non fulfillment of those dreams, of which imprisonment is one. Inmates at the James Camp Prison have found innovative ways to still live in their dream countries. All 12 dormitories at the facility are given names such as Australia, Britain, Denmark, Ghana, Holland, Jamaica, and London. Inmates who spoke with me are optimistic of pursuing their dreams one day after their sentences. Chaplain of the facility, Reverend Emmanuel Agri, tells me it is part of efforts to motivate the inmates to aspire for higher life after their confinement. It influences the inmates and it motivates them. That since I'm in a dormitory called Australia, oh, they, they are very happy. At least they have that dream that one day they may find themselves in any of these countries. So it's a way of motivation to the inmates. Built in 1948, the James Camp Prison was instrumental in the Second World War. Yes, because the dormitories were used by the Signal Regiment, West Africa Frontier Force, during the Second World War. So they have the country reps occupying the various dormitories. So they got the name of Australia, Ghana, Canada, and all these things from that. And it has since remained so. The correctional facility has played a tremendous role in the reformation, rehabilitation, welfare and safe custody of inmates. What they say, Kaipa, and dreams, we also believe, do come true. And here at the James Camp Prison, it is no different. Every dormitory here is named after one of the many great countries in the world, including our very own Ghana. Inmates here are hopeful that someday they might visit one of these countries. And while they are here, they will live the dream of visiting these countries. No wonder behind me is God's time is the best. They know in God's own time, they will get out of this place and probably visit one of these countries. Grace Hamwa Asari, TV3 News, James Camp Prison, Accra.